Welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being with us today. I am very excited to do something that you guys have um, asked for. I've seen a couple different people ask for it. Um, I've been talking about doing it, but I wanted to wait until I got to test some of the newer products on the market before I did this video. This is a fall favorites video. Um, I did want to feature a lot of newer products that are new on the market, not stuff that I've had for a while that I just am always like, oh, this is a cool one for fall. Um, I did want to feature stuff that was kind of uh, recently recently released and that way you guys can see what I think is um, a really good purchase and um, it's really kind of an essential for the fall season. That being said, there's a lot of palettes that I've gotten that I haven't yet played with, haven't gotten a chance to like really test out to be able to include in this. And then there's some that I have played with that I didn't include just because I didn't want to overwhelm you with like, hey, everything that I bought is worth buying because I really wanted to pick out like the, the main features, if you will. So um, I tried to give you a little wide variety of stuff. I do have uh, three palettes and then a couple other things as well. I'm going to save the palettes for last. And I'm just going to jump into um, what I'm going to say is like my foundation for the fall winter season when I start getting into a lighter complexion. I went ahead and I've talked about these a bunch, but I went ahead and said it was the Juvia's Place Concealer in the foundation um, together. I think together they make a really nice skin tone for me personally for the fall season. Um, it's what I'm wearing on my face currently. I do have a banana setting powder on top of it because it's my complexion is a little bit dark and that banana powder helps to add like a little bit of yellow and a little bit of golden tint to it. But overall, these make a really good one for during the winter time for my lighter skin. So um, I would say those would probably be my highlight or my concealer in my foundation picks. Um, along the same lines, for a primer, I chose to do the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This is a sample size of it. I have a full size, but this is the one I'm currently using. Um, I also used it today. But it does a really nice job of like giving you just a little bit of like a sun-kissed look so that you look quite, not quite as ghostly as I do in the winter time. Um, and so that'll help kind of add like a little bit of, of brightness to your skin just from the base. Um, and that way it kind of helps to um, assist any other sort of brightness or brightening features or darkness you're trying to add to your skin tone. So those were my picks basically for complexion and face. Um, I also have, so I'm wearing this on my lips currently. This is also a sample. I literally just got this in one of my giant beauty bundle things that I got from Ulta for spending way too much money. But it is NARS. Um, it is their lipstick in, I believe the shade is Tolita. It is a beautiful fall color, like very neutral, very subdued. I do have like, I would call it a lip gloss, I guess, over it. It is from Nude Sticks and it's a little bit of a redder tint, so it made it a little darker. But that alone, I would say, would probably be one of my staples for the fall season. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be wearing it quite a bit because I really enjoyed the shade and it's very easy to apply. Moving right along into the eye featured part of this video, I did want to talk about the, you guys have heard me talk a ton about the Crystallized Collection from Smashbox. Uh, nobody else is really talking about it. I haven't seen anything else about it. I haven't heard anything else about it. The only time I really see the products is when they go on sale at Ulta. So I do want to talk about, I really like this collection a lot. I've gotten some like shimmer drops from them, which I would equate to like the Cover X FX. Um, their drops all over face shimmer drops except the smashbox ones are like they go straight for the glitter like they're not holding back anything they're like you want to be a unicorn here you go and i'm like yes i do want to be a unicorn so um so i really like those as well for this particular discussion of a fall featured i wanted to incorporate something that i felt like was a nice fall color and that is this always on liquid eyeshadow it is a shimmer liquid eyeshadow and it is a nice gold color it is in the shade rich craft and it's a giant size in terms of like a lot of times when you see these liquid eyeshadows they're a little bit smaller tubes um i did pick it up on sale so i paid 12 dollars for it but i believe regular price it is 24. just the packaging itself is beautiful like i said it is a nice sized option and then it's that really pretty gold color which i i typically use a ton during this time of year because i think gold is the proper accent highlight color shimmer color for like greens and reds and browns which is what I normally am going for at this season so I did want to incorporate that to give you guys a little look into um, that collection once again because I do think it gets underappreciated and also to give you guys an option if you like liquid eyeliner or liquid um, eyeliner. 
eyeshadows. That's the word. Now, I do have three palettes that I've that I purchased recently and I wanted to incorporate into this because I really like them. I was very impressed with them. To go ahead and jump into it, we'll start with Naked Honey. Of course, the Naked Collection is one of the largest staples in the Urban Decay line. There's been some that I've really liked and some that I've been like, not that they're bad formulas, just that they weren't really my color scheme. I still own them, but like the Naked Smoky is not really the color scheme that I go for, so I don't use it that much. But this one in particular, it was a really intelligent release time because they released it right before fall. It is all browns, golds, orangey tones, that nice like warm autumn feel that you think about with the, with the fall season. Of course, the packaging is always unique and pretty, but I really think that this is a nice kind of being the naked, being the idea it's a neutral starting palette for you. This would be a really nice neutral starting palette fall palette because it does have those golds, it does have those browns. The formula is really nice. I have played with it. I did an eye look with it and I really was very, impressed is the wrong word because I come I come to expect it from the Naked line now. So I really was just, um, I was happy to see that it was the same quality with a nice new twist on the colors. So I would definitely recommend the Naked Honey if you're looking for a nice neutral palette to incorporate into your fall fall season eye look. And then we'll go into, I'm gonna save my favorite for last. Um, I, I could talk about that one for an hour, so we'll save that one for last. But I did wanna include, I was surprised at how much I like this one. It's the Morphe times Jeffree Star uh, collaboration palette that was released uh, probably close to like three weeks ago now. And honestly, this could be used for any time, springtime, fall time, whatever, but this is just, there's so many colors in it. You get such a wide variety, but there's just a lot of colors to work with. You've got greens, if you wanna make a green eye look, you've got shimmers, you've got reds and oranges and a couple dark shades. It's just a lot that you can do with this palette. And honestly, a lot of people I think would look at it and go, oh, it's not really a fall palette. But when you think about the colors that are included, I think you can definitely make a nice fall eye look with this and not just one, multiple ones. I did want to incorporate that. It is not a very expensive palette because Morphe, it's, it's as a brand is, is relatively um, affordable. I think it's a $38 palette, which is about average for their um, collabs with the beauty YouTubers. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. It is available at Ulta. It's available, I believe, at Jeffree Star's website and Morphe's website. And overall, I was very impressed with it, more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. And I did wanna feature it in this collection as well. All right, this is the final product. This is the one, if you pick one thing to purchase that I'm telling you to buy today, or recommending, not even telling you to buy, you don't have to buy it. You're just, you know, you're just listening to me talk. If you're looking for a suggestion on what to buy, of everything I have sitting on this table right now, this is the one that I would purchase. This is a $38 palette. Remember the Jeffree Star one was also $38. That was actually a good deal in my opinion. That's not expensive for a palette. This, it's the Pure Crystal Clear Collection. It is $38 as well. It is not just an eye palette. It is an everything palette. It is everything you could possibly want. I'm gonna wipe it for you. There are so many things to do with this palette. You have highlighters, you have multiple blush shades, you have multiple bronze and contour shades, shimmer eyeshadow looks, you have matte eyeshadow looks, you have neutral colors, bright colors, you have a lot of warm toned colors and a couple cooler toned colors. For me, I always think of fall as being a really warm toned season it, with the oranges and the reds and the leaves and all of it. I just think of it as a warm toned season, but you have blues in this palette, you have purples, you have all of these options to work with for $38. It is an unbelievable steal in my opinion. I know what I spend on palettes normally and I don't get anywhere near what I get in this particular line and it's just remarkable. I did do an eye look with it, absolutely loved it. The face palettes, the face aspects of the palette were easy to work with, easy to blend out. They made me look really natural. The eyeshadows worked really well. I used my finger to apply one of those loose glitter shades and it stuck like nobody's business, which I'm always really worried with because sometimes they work and sometimes they don't work. This palette, I honestly came downstairs and told my mom about this palette as soon as we filmed it. I was like, look at this palette. It is amazing. I did my whole face like color wise with this palette and she went out and bought it the next day, which was funny because I was actually gonna buy it for, for, 
for Christmas if she didn't get it, but uh, she did, she bought it. So I loved it enough to convince my mother to immediately go out and buy it herself. I would say that this is, it doesn't really matter what your normal look is. I think that there's something for you in this palette. If you are a makeup enthusiast looking for, always looking for the new thing to get, I would recommend this. If you're somebody just starting out with makeup and you're looking for a nicer quality makeup that's not going to break your bank and give you a lot to work with, this is it. I'm hands down telling you this is what you need to get. I, I just love it. I just love it. I love it. So yeah, so I've rambled about makeup a lot. Hopefully this is what you guys were kind of wanting. I think this is the best stuff on the market that I've seen recently uh, that's come into my uh, possession. And I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of, of, like I said, the newer products that are out there for you to be able to go and test them out during the fall season. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the video a ton. Or the video, it helps the video. It also helps us and it makes us feel nice. So just please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. So make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. So that way you see all the times that we talk about makeup and I give stuff away and we just are doing weird things on the channel. So. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.